Imagine you wanted to generate a video in the cinematic style of a specific movie or director. You could do the old trick of prompting for Wes Anderson cinematic style, but now the AI model has to predict if you mean this, this, or this. AI is a prediction engine, so that leaves a lot to its imagination. And in this case, we want to be specific. I'm going to show you a better way, one that lets you match the cinematic style of specific shots from your favorite movies. And before you say, that's stealing, that's stealing. We're not going to generate video from the images. We're going to have AI describe the color grade information of the shot, things like shadows, midtones, highlights, things like that. I'm going to show you how to use my custom GPT or how to make your own. And there's a link in the description as well. In my original video about consistent color, I created three different color grades. You could copy these, paste them in your favorite chatbot, attach a screenshot for the look you're going for, and then say, write a color grade prompt for this image that matches the format of these. So it's gonna look at this image and it's gonna try and match them to these. Let's see what it comes up with. So we can apply this color grade to any of our prompts. And if we wanna have a shot similar to this, we can just say, describe the subject's setting and camera framing of the shot. So it describes that clearly for us. And then we can say, write a prompt for VO3.1 or whichever generator you wanna use that has that information plus the color grade description at the end. All right, now we'll copy that prompt and bring it over to Leonardo AI, but you could bring it to wherever you're generating videos. I've got VO3.1, we'll say six seconds, 1080p. 16 by nine, and I'm gonna generate it. So I created this custom GPT and the idea is that you upload a photo and you get the color grade information that you can use in an AI video prompt. There's a link to this in the description. So these were the instructions I put in. This is the most important section of these instructions. It kind of gets into some weeds down here, but this is the part, if you just want to start creating your own, this is how I started. The trick here is that we're having ChatGPT analyze the image and looking for shadows, midtones, highlights, skin tones, saturation, contrast, atmosphere, lighting, texture, and tone curve. You might decide you're not seeing the right results and you just want to focus on the shadows, midtones, highlights, and saturation, and you can do that. I'm still playing around with this myself, so I'm not saying this is the absolute perfect way because this is AI video. We constantly iterate. All right, so I'm just gonna drag and drop this image here from Ad Astra. Um, this is an underrated sci-fi movie in my opinion. There's a lot of visual styles here, so that's why I picked this one. All I'm gonna do is attach that screenshot. Now I have color grade information for that. Mine is set up where I can just keep adding screenshots and I'll just keep getting color grade information for those screenshots. So if I was creating a lookbook for generative AI and I wanted to say, this is the kind of shots I'm going for, I now have a color grade library that I can keep all in one chat. They don't all have to be from the same movie. They could be from um, Under the Skin, for instance. But let's say you do want a prompt for this image. You just have to ask for it. And I've got this set up so it does subject, action, scene, setting, camera, and color grade. It's kind of a good baseline average for any video generator. If you want to be more specific about that, check out the link in the description to a video I did about my prompt sidekick that's trained on the documentation for the different generators. This wasn't the first result I got. I did a few before I found one I was happy with. Even though the shot structure is not what I was looking for, look at how consistent the color is across all of these generations. So you might say, yeah, it's consistent, but it doesn't totally match. This is a little greener. So let's see if we can fix that. I'm gonna add a screenshot for both of those and then get a new color grade. And then I'll replace the color grade in that same exact prompt. Wow. 
One thing to look out for is sometimes the color grade information has words in it that may seep into the emotional state of the characters. For instance, Verde Bloom includes romantic and Iron City includes tense and industrial. Typically, the cinematic style and emotional state go hand in hand. If your characters are making the wrong expressions, you can take those out and then put the expressions earlier in the character part of the prompt. I did another video about this that compares this across different video models. So I think I've said this a thousand times, but there is a link in the description. It feels endless. Thank you for watching. I love making AI movies and tutorials about how I made those AI movies. I've also got a newsletter where I talk about things like how AI video is changing creativity, our culture, and what all of this means for the future. Here are some outtakes of things that didn't go well. You can't do this. I'm doing this to save all of us.